it's the new year, everybody has goals and objectives and resolutions that they're trying to set. And if you own your own business, if you're a small business or even if you're a large business, you likely have goals as well. Before you even begin your strategic plan, what's more important, what's the most important, what will drive the direction of your strategy is why are you doing what you're doing? Are you doing it because you are passionate about the subject matter? Are you doing it because you want to make a lot of money? There's no shame in that. That's why a lot of us go into business. Are you doing it because you're tired of working the nine to five and going in and punching a clock and you want to work for yourself and have freedom? Are you doing it because uh, it got passed down to you and it's just, uh, this is this is something you've been given? All those reasons, all those objectives, all those purposes are really important when developing your strategy. And I'll tell you why. Last week, I had a meeting with a client who has a small business. It's been in operation for about a year. And we're talking about growth. And I'm helping them develop a strategic plan around growth. And we're looking at the numbers and where we are plugging the um, costs of all of the products. We're talking about the cost of labor. When you're doing that, please make sure you're also counting your own time. You don't work for free. Figure out what your hourly rate is and work that into the cost so that you're building the cost of your time into your products. And um, we're also looking at things like mileage and uh, the p cost per unit, cost per client, cost per week, and looking at what uh, her uh, what her revenue, her gross revenue and her net revenue would be on a weekly, monthly and annual basis. And when we were doing that, we were looking at one of the big costs for, for her business was the cost of her time. It was something that she hadn't, she had plugged in, but hadn't really looked at it in a strategic way in that the cost of her time is far more expensive than the cost of somebody else's time likely. And so we started talking again about why she's doing what she's doing. And so I said, I'm like, well, what are your objectives with this business? Why did you go into business? Why did you start this business? And for sure, passion for the subject matter was definitely one of those areas. And you should have passion for the thing that you're going into business for. But the other key thing was freedom. The ability to get up at any point in time and go traveling. The ability to uh, be able to take her dog for a walk in the middle of the day to not be tied to something. And she had owned a business before that really had her tied and where, where she, she didn't want to be in a situation where if she wanted to go on a trip for a week or two or a month that she was scrambling, trying to find somebody to look after things for her. And in doing that and having that conversation, what she realized is, is wow, she, that's exactly how she's built her business right now. Her business is dependent on her being there as part of the operations. And so we had a long conversation about that and part of the strategy actually changed and part of the way uh, she looked at planning for the next four to six months has changed. Um, even in the first two weeks, she's already found somebody to help with delivery of the product so that she's not doing that anymore. So she can spend more time working on the business rather than in the business. These are things you need to think about. And, you know, I had the same conversation with a friend of mine, actually, this morning. We got together for a Zoom chat. She's a colleague of mine. I've known her for years. And we were chatting about our businesses and our lives and, of course, COVID. And she is trying to get this uh, product off the ground. And, and I, she was sort of trying to figure out about, okay, well, what should the price point be? And I said, well, the first question is, is before you set the price point, because it's a service, it's not a product. So the cost is really her time only. So why are you doing this? Why do you want to put this product out? And we talked about that for a little bit. And after that, I think she had a little bit more clarity about a, the price point, where she wanted to go with it. Cause was it a one-time product service or was it something that she wanted to snowball into other work? And what did that look like? And so, I just wanted to put out this really quick video to make sure it doesn't matter if you're in a small business, a large business, or even in government, why are you doing what you're doing? Before you do the strategy, make sure you have your objective. 
So thank you so much. If you've taken the few minutes to watch this, I'm glad. I hope it gave you um, something that you can work with. And uh, we are here if you need help with your strategy or your planning or even just some business coaching. Uh, check us out and we would be happy to help. Thanks, everybody.